Did you know that with using environments in Azure Machine Learning, you can make your machine learning workflow reproducible, auditable, and even portable across a variety of different compute targets? If you want to know more in action, then let's go. Hello everyone, this is MG and welcome to this video which we're going to talk about environments in Azure Machine Learning which are integrated with Docker and container concept that will enable us to encapsulate all the packages and environment configurations that we did for training our models so we can have those environments reusable and we do not need to recreate those packages or configurations again when we are training those models and even deploying those models. So let's check it out before we start make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video thank you so first of all let's define together what is environment in azure machine learning and what are the benefits why we must use it and how it will help us to accelerate our machine learning workflow make it reproducible audible and as we talked about making our ml workflow portable across different compute targets so as you can see in this very quick picture, we do have our Azure Machine Learning workspace on the top. And let's just start with the time that when we want to train a model using Azure Machine Learning workspace. So if you follow my pointer, the first thing is having your training script. But in order to run your training script, you need to specify some run configurations. For example, what is the compute target that you want to, to run your training code? Is it a CPU-based oriented cluster or a GPU? And one of the specific things that you need to add in your run configuration is the environment, which means what are the packages that you need to have in place? What is the Docker-based image that you want to have there? What is the Python version you want to have there? Do you need to have any a Spark configs there? So defining the environment that you have used or you're going to use to train your model with all those packages and configurations is called in a concept called environment in Azure Machine Workspace. So you need to also say that in your run configurations that, hey, run this training code over this compute with these configurations that I have already created in a concept called environment. Not only just for training, the same thing exactly for scoring or when you want to deploy a model. So when you deploy the model using Workspace, you need to have a scoring script, which says that, hey, I, this is the way I load the model, I read the input data and do the prediction. So with having that code and compute target, you can deploy the model, but still you have to tell to that web service, to that Kubernetes, wherever you're deploying the model that, hey, this is also the environment, the packages, configurations that I need to have in place for deploying the model. Because you already defined the environment when you were training your model, and you know that you need the same sort of environment when you deploy the model. So you do not need to recreate those environments again, again, and just manually install the packages. You can just tell that, hey, use the environment that I have used in training for the deployment. So you can see that how you immediately avoid a duplication of the efforts and because environments can be registered in Azure ML Workspace anyone in your team can use them for training and deployment and save the time for them. So let's go through that a little bit further quickly. This is my Azure Machine Learning Workspace and if you go through the environment section here if you follow my pointer you can see that there are two types of environments. The first one on the top is curated ones. These are the ones that created and keep continuously getting maintained by Microsoft. And you can see some great environments to start from. So you do not need to recreate them again. They contain some of the very well-known machine learning oriented packages like TensorFlow related, PyTorch, so on and so forth, like GBM, scikit-learn. Let me click just randomly on one of them and you can see with clicking on any of them you can see the, the number the version number because as i mentioned microsoft is maintaining them so you can see all previous versions created by microsoft the date that has been released uh, it's coming from microsoft container registry 
and you can check out the docker file where it's coming from and some specific tags the second type of environment is the custom ones these are the ones that you can create here you can see created by mg these are the ones that are very customized for my own specific machine learning projects because i have trained those models and i know what packages are needed so i registered them once and i can reuse them again and again for training or even deploying the model if i just click on any of them you can see that the condo environments i specified before there are multiple ways actually to create environments which you're going to check that in a code quickly and you can check if the environment image is built successfully that means there's a cache image docker image of this environment of mine stored inside my azure container registry that means i do not need to actually rebuild this image again if it's already there and going to be used again so the first time that i use this environment it's going to take a little bit of more time because the image should be built but when it's built it's going to get cached and it won't get rebuilt again when you're calling this environment to use it for training another model or deploying the model and these are some other information like when i was checking building you can check out some bit logs and you can even download the content in the yaml file for the environment that i created so let's go through the notebook so here i'm using one of the azure ml samples again i can add the link of this notebook to the video description so i'm not going to run this because it's not like a code training model deploying it's just to walk through about the concept of environment and how you can interact with it through code so as always as you know for interacting with your azure machine learning workspace you have to import the workspace python sdk and get connected with using the config file that's how i did and now i can do anything with this workspace with referring to its ws object we talked about created environments now you know what they are so within created environments azure ml is providing you minimal environments it just contains some specific minimal packages for data science and some of them are tutorial oriented which they contain common data science packages that you can leverage them it's worth mentioning that these created environments created by microsoft are backed by cache docker image and as i talked about it because they're cached they're not going to rebuild again so when you call and use them there will be a reduced time up front to prepare those images and of course it will save your cost so let's say now i'm going to use one of those created environments how you can do it just import the environment from azure ml sdk dot get from this workspace that i've got connected to give me the created environment within this name choose any name of those query environments that I chose showed you you can have them all fetched to this object now with running this it will give you all the name of those environments that I just showed in the UI but this code is just a quick way to check out what are the query environments available in Azure ML so you can check them out from the UI or with this code but just passing that quickly now that's the time I want to create my own environment as I showed you I did some before and we will see how we can have our own environment registered so we can have it reusable again with just calling the environment object we saw that how we were able to have that object coming in from Python SDK so now as it is recommended I want to have my own environment created and using conda dependencies or conda for some packages management so it is recommended to specify conda packages what i'm going to do i'll say that i want to have an environment with the given name and i want to use conda dependencies and with conda dependencies i can add conda packages here i'm going to add circular you can add anything based on your specific environment that you want to create and then on the top i can also add pip packages and specify the pip version as you can see with again using conda dependencies and when i have my environment defined here i can say that i want to have the conda dependencies all on the top of this environment using the conda dependencies i specified here so again i have my environment i have the conda dependencies and now i am adding the conda dependencies on the top of that environment so 
Now that's the time that I want to submit a run, and when I say run, that can be training code, deployment code, any specific code that you can call it as a run, as a code execution, that you need to give it a name. For example, this is my experiment called experiment MG, environment example, whatever, over this workspace. So I have my experiment defined. I have not executed my experimental code yet because I need to say to Azure ML, what are the configurations for running that code? So I say that this is the source code, which is the current directory. Here's an example code, just a Python code that can be training code, whatever. And I want to deploy this code on local or remote compute in a specific cluster and this is the environment I'm going to run this code, which is my own environment that I created here. With clicking on submit, that's the time my code execution will be happening and I'll wait for in finalizing the code. Sorry, the execution. So, perfect. Now I created my own environment, I ran my code, but what is the advantage here? We want to make it reusable. I don't want to recreate this environment again. I don't want to say that, hey, this is my environment, add scikit-learn, add pillow, or any Python package, and then I have to wait for this Docker image get built. That's not really efficient. This is not the benefit here. So I need to register this environment with just saying that, hey, my environment dot register inside this workspace and then that's the time I can have it reusable again and if I do not change this environment this build image will be cached so next time it will be even faster when I run my code over this environment how I can have this environment back for submitting another code with just saying environment.get over my workspace this is the name I chose when I was registering this environment and interestingly, there's a version. So you can have multiple versions of the same environment. If you recreate this environment with the same name, the, the extra version is going to be automatically added, version 2, 3, 4, so you can call different versions of the environment. There are some other ways to create the environment. For example, let's say now you're using Conda right now to for creating your data science environment. And to save your time, you can say that, hey, create an environment in Azure ML from the Conda environment that I have as of now. So you don't need to manually add packages, define the environment and register it. We're just saying, let's say Conda create, let's say you use this before to start your data science code. So you're running your workflow over a Conda environment with the given name. Now you want to register it as an Azure ML environment. So you can say that environment from existing Conda that I have as of now, give it a name and use the Conda environment I created before over this machine. Done. Whatever packages, configurations you had over this Conda environment is now registered automatically as an Azure ML environment that you can reuse it later. Or if you have, let's say, YAML file that has the Conda specifications, PIP requirements, you can use that YAML file path to register it as an Azure ML environment, as this code does. For example, here is a YAML file with some dependencies and given name. I refer it using the path of that and register the environment. That's another way to do so. And when you want to deploy the model, easy peasy. You have already registered the environment before, so use the same environment you use for training now for deploying the model. So I say that this is the inference in config. This is the code that I want to score the model using the environment that I already registered before. So no need for specifying the packages and environment again. And a very quick thing. So you can have the Docker enabled in your environment. This is my environment that I created and I'm saying that enable Docker here. If you do not enable Docker, Docker well is a great way. It is more efficient and more efficient and optimized way to encapsulate the packages and dependencies. But if we do not enable this, so what it will use is it will use the host operating system. And that host operating system will be the system that you deploy the model on it. So you're saying that use this, the vanilla operating system of that, let's say, web service you're deploying the model to configure the packages or have a Docker container there to deploy the packages and deploy the model there, which is potentially more even efficient. And that's it. So 
if you want to deploy the, your model let's say over a spark or azure databricks there are some more created environments which are docker based in azure ml and you can even have your own but you have to make sure you know which packages are needed for training or deploying a model so have them there make sure they're working and if you feel they're safe register them in the environment and then you can have it reusable so wherever you want to deploy and train your codes again and again we just having the environment which is executable even somehow downloadable that can be shipped you can reproduce whatever you did anywhere with the concept of contrarization which is integrated with azure machine learning environments that's it kindness makes you the most beautiful person in the world no matter what you look like take care my friends and we'll see you next week